Hi, welcome to Mad English TV. Do you like cooking or baking? If you do, you're going to need to know fractions. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about fractions. Okay, let's start over here. We have half, one third, one quarter, or one fourth, one fifth, and then it just keeps going. One sixth, one seventh, one eighth, one seventeenth, one one hundredth, one one millionth, one one trillionth, and so on. Okay, now we can also use the word a instead of one. So I could say a half or a third, a quarter, a fifth, a seventeenth, and so on. Okay, it's your choice. You can say one or a. Now after one, it goes to two. So two thirds, two fifths, then it goes to three, three quarters, seven eighths. Okay, now the important thing to note is that the first number is easy. It's just the number, seven, one, three, five. It's the second number that changes, right? Third, fifths, quarters, eighths. Okay, so you need to learn how it changed. So this isn't four, right? Quarters means four, but we don't say three fourths. Well, you can say three fourths, but more common is to say three quarters. Okay, two fifths. It's not two fives, it's two fifths, two thirds. Okay, so let's imagine we're making a recipe. It will probably look something like this. It'll say, add half a teaspoon salt or stir in a quarter cup almonds. Okay, so if you're following a recipe, it's really important to know what these fractions are. And especially if you're cooking with someone else, then you need to know how to say them. Like if you're cooking with a native English speaker and they ask you, how much salt do I need to add? Then you can say, add half a teaspoon salt. Okay, so let's do a little bit of math. The top number is called the numerator, and the bottom number is called the denominator. Now, when the numerator is bigger than the denominator, it's called an improper fraction, and it can be reduced to one and three fifths, right? And that's called a mixed fraction. But I'm not a math teacher, I'm an English teacher, so let's forget about the math and let's do some homework, okay? So I want you to tell me what this fraction is using words. Okay, so I want you to write your answer in the comments right down there, and I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Okay, see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.